Just a quick warning, you're going to want to blow this video up big because I might write a little small, you might not be able to see it and you, you might want to see what I'm writing on here if you want to understand what I'm going to say fully. So let's get back to understanding Euler's equation, this e to the pi i plus one equals zero, this mysterious magical equation that seems to tie together these constants in mathematics. The next step after defining what a radian is, after defining radians, a new way of doing angles in which there's two pi of it in one circle, is to define two mathematical machines, which we're going to call the up machine and the along machine. What I mean by a mathematical machine is you can put in an input, the machine will do its work and it will spit out an answer. So to define these machines, we're going to have to think like this. This is our circle of radius 1, that you might remember from last time, and it's sitting in a certain space. So we're going to define two directions first. This is the up direction, and this here is the along, the along direction, up and along, also known as up and right, but I want to use along. Um, the question we're going to ask is if we draw another line here of length 1, because if this is a circle, all lines, straight lines from the centre to the edge, will be of length 1. If we draw another one here, how far up is the tip of this line when it touches there? And how far along is the tip of this line of length 1 when it touches the circle? This is an interesting question, because if you think about it, when it's all the way up, it's going to be like up by 1 and along by 0, blah blah blah. We need to invent these two machines to help us out with this. So this line is at angle A, A for angle. Pretty easy. If we put A into this machine that I'm going to call the up machine, it's going to spit out this length, which I'm going to call up. And if I put A into the along machine, It's going to spit out this length here, which I'm going to call along. So I'm going to, I've put these two words to associate these two lengths. Now, as this is all well and good to invent these machines this, that solves our problem, but you, you can't use them in a, in a mathematical equation. You can't draw all that out. So we're going to make some notation for it. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a big U for the up machine to mean I'm using the up machine, look at me. This is my input, A, and it's going to spit out my output, up. And look at me, I'm using the along machine, let's just draw a line there so we know what we're talking about. I'm going to open my brackets and put in my input, and it's going to give me this nice output called along. So we've invented these machines now that are going to answer this question for us. So I'm going to say to this machine, Mr. Machine, How's it going? Uh, I've got this angle here, and I want you to tell me how far up it is from this radius here. And the machine's going to go, okay, just you know, put me in the brackets, and we're going to do it, and we're going to get this up. So let's think about the kind of answers this machine is going to give. And let's think about this with the easiest example first for no angle at all. So for no angle, we're going to say, hey, I'm using the up machine, and I'm going to open my brackets, and I'm going to put in no angle at all. What's up going to give us? Well, if it's lying completely flat with no angle at all, up's going to give us nothing. So the up machine's going to say, nothing there. Uh, if we say, hey, I'm using the along machine, and I put in nothing, it's going to say 1. Because if it's lying completely flat, and this line is length 1, then it's going to be 1 in this direction. Another one to think about is, what if we're a quarter of the way round? So we say, up machine, for a quarter of the way around, now remember we're using radians, so there's two pi radians in a circle. For a quarter of the way around, the up machine is going to give us one. It's going to be going straight up. It's going to be one length away from this centre. And the along machine, for two pi over four, is going to give us nothing. Because if it's pointing straight up, it's not along in any direction. Now, finally, the most important value to understanding Euler's equation when we're using this up and along machine is what is the up and along for halfway around? The up for halfway around for 2 pi over 2, which is the same as pi, 
it's going to be nothing. If it's lying flat, it's just going to be pointing in that direction. Nothing at all. If we activate the along machine and we put in an angle of pi, which is halfway around a circle that has two pi radians in it, then it's going to pop out minus one. Remember the along machine gives us the length of this direction, but it's going in that direction, it's going to be a negative number. So for up of pi, we get nothing, and for along of pi, we get minus one. And that's the summary of all you need to know, is we're going to invent these two machines, the up machine and the along machine, that give us that and that, and if we put in pi, the up machine will give us nothing, and the along machine will give us minus one. And that's the next step to understanding Euler's equation, and I'll see you next time.